give me a who day in the comments section as the Bengals blow out the Colts 34 to 14. An impressive win by the Bengals that as of right now, knowing there are afternoon games to be run, etc., the Bengals are going to be in the seven seed for the time being in the wild card race. The entire AFC North at this moment would be in there, which makes things oh so entertaining. If you guys like that win by the Bengals, and how could you not? That was a fun football game. Then like the video right now. Every single person watching, I think, should like the video after an impressive quality win by Cincinnati over Indianapolis. Let's go through the keys to victory as kind of a, did they accomplish them? Our takeaways, so to speak. Uh, did Jake Browning step up? Yes, with a slight asterisk on that front. Um, the screen game was really good. Uh, of Jake Browning's 275 yards, um, a lot of them were on passes behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, something like 120, 130, something like that. But 18 of 24, 275, two TDs, the INT, a touchdown run as well. You'll take it. It's easy when Chase Brown has three catches for 80 yards on screens. Uh, Joe Mix had a 45-yard screen. You know, Drew Sample made a nice catch behind the backfield to get, get some yardage there. A lot of, a lot of good stuff overall from the, from the Bengals' offense. Jake Browning gets credit. A.J. McCarron to play for a little bit. That was scary. Uh, Jake Browning at one point just kind of like leaves the game holding his thumb. Probably was just cramps. The not-so-fun thumb, thumb cramp, I guess, happened for Jake Browning. Came back in the game. Was fine. Had a bad pick six. That was, the, the Colts had about 30 seconds of good play. They had the, uh, the touchdown on a nice drive that was set up by Hendrickson Rugby Pass, which, which was the right call as far as I'm concerned. And then they had the, uh, the pick six, 25 seconds of game time, all 14 of their points. Outside of that, 34 nothing. Pretty good. So grade the Bengals for me against the Colts. A, B, C, D, or F. Sound off in the comments, it's the pinned comment of today's video. The ad comes here on YouTube. Take advantage of it. Head down there, A, B, C, D, or F. Number two, the ground game must remain featured for the Bengals. And I, th I think it was today. Now, some fourth quarter, just run, 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 kind of out, you know, change the numbers to an extent. But I thought Joe Mixon played well. 21 for 79 yards. Under four yards per carry, but a lot of short yardage stuff. Good success rates overall. You know, the one TD also had three catches for 46 yards and, and, and you know, the 45-yard screenplay. Good stuff. Chase Brown? He's, he's, he's good. When I said I want to play young guys, this is why. I want to see what Chase Brown is able to do. How good can he be? Eight carries, 25 yards. Eh, you know, now because it was a, a toss that lost a few yards. It kind of brought down those numbers. It's fine. Three catches, 80 yards. Was the leading receiver for Cincinnati in this game. Jake Browning, three carries, seven yards. The score, only 3.5 yards per carry. Some late games have kind of negatively impacted those numbers, and that's fine. But I thought it was, a, it, you, you ran it successfully, efficiently for the most part. Good day on the ground. Good offense performance. How can you mad about 34 points, right? Offense played great today. And a great job by Zach Taylor. Head coach gets plenty of credit for the way his team played. In a must-win game for the playoff chances, they've won back-to-back. -back. Today's show is made possible by prize picks, the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's you against the numbers. You simply pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. You're not battling thousands of other players. There's no pros, there's no sharps, there's no sharks. You just pick more than, less than. That's it. You can mix and match sports. I love the flex play. You don't get as much back, but you give you some cover in case you get one wrong. Although I did start today two for two. I've hit the flex play already. Can I get my CD Lamb anytime TD tonight? We shall find out in a few hours. I had Justin Fields more than passing yards, 195.5.
T. Higgins, more than receiving yards, 38.5. Those both hit, despite two drops. Tickets. Not, not a great day from T. And he finishes the day with some nice yardage. Had the offensive pass interference to get a touchdown, but that yeah, was fine. And he finished the day two for 72. Not great, but enough, I suppose. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Links in the comments and the description of today's show. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Number three, key to victory. The defense fares better. Oh boy, did they. Uh, first off, how good was this ground game defense? The run defense was as good as I've seen it been all year long. A team that has had run, that was run ball pretty well this year had nothing going. Zach Moss. 13 carries, 28 yards. Gardner Minshew, two for five. The numbers are inflated by Trey Sermon coming in late, having three carries for 13 yards in literal garbage time when Indy didn't even let uh, Sam Ingram th throw the football at all. Two takeaways, the INT and a fumble. Uh, the fumble came on special teams, by the way, so still counts as far as I'm concerned. Uh, a nice offensive yardage, 269, but that's not very many when the Bengals had almost 400 yards of offense today. Gardner Minshew, 240, 6.2 yards per attempt. Browning almost doubled him. A lot of short stuff. Pittman played well. How about, by the way, how about Jermaine Pratt and Logan Wilson? Both had 10 tackles. Pratt had a sack and a TFL. Uh, Hendrickson had two sacks, by the way. We'll talk about Patrick here in a little bit. Great performance by the defense. Really good stuff. We will have more Bengals watch parties later on this year for you. Sub and make sure you are subscribed. YouTube.com slash Bengals TV. Free Bengals videos for you all season long. Number two, Kinder was a second pass rusher steps up. And not really. I, I will give BJ Hill credit. Had a great diving pick. So that was a pass rush that stepped up. Uh, Henderson had, had, had two sacks. Pratt and Samp each got a half one, although I didn't... I'm not sure that was Samp who got in on that one play. I'll have to go back and double check. Either way, you know, Hubbard played well. Uh, great run defense there. You know, Josh Tapuo was a good run stopper. I didn't see much from Miles Murphy. He had a, had a nice chase down tackle late after a Pratt kind of set up a, a TFL that they gave to a Woozie eventually. Um, but look, you, you, you sacked it, Minshew three times. They didn't do much on the air. Can't, can't be mad at it. Can't be mad at it. Give me your one word reaction to the Bengals win over the Colts. Sound off in the comment section. One word only right now. Final key to victory. Feed Jamar Chase. Did not happen. Ended up being okay. Um, you know, they, they only got him the ball three times in this one, three catches, 29 yards on four targets. If I had told you, Hey, it's three for 29 for chase. We went, Oh my God, we lost. Did we lose this game? Did, did we, we, we had nothing going on offense. Did, did we? Well, didn't matter because your running backs had 80 and 46 Higgins had two for 72, Hudson had his first touchdown catch of, the uh, of his career, I or season, career? I'll double check that right now. Chase did not get going. In the end, it's okay. Of his career for Hudson, by the way. First one of his career. That's okay. Was a good, impressive, quality performance by the Bengals' offense overall, even if their best player did not have his best game. Not the end of the world. So the Bengals come out on top, 34-14. to 14. It's a big one. Big, big game. Again, as of right now, the tiebreakers will change as we move forward. The Bengals, for the time being, have the seven seed. They uh, uh, Basically, Houston gets knocked out of it. They're both at seven and six. Pittsburgh, Bengals, Indy, Houston at seven and six. Pittsburgh over the tiebreaker over the Bengals. Indy over Houston because of their tiebreaker head-to-head. -head, and Bengals over Indy head-to-head. So there, there's a lot of, of chaos and still stuff left to be done there. But the Bengals' playoff hopes are alive again. 
We'll have more for you guys in the coming days. Make sure you are subscribed.